Hey there, Logic Language Learners. So if you are new to the channel, you are very, very welcome, um, and I hope you find all the content you need. Do please let me know if you need anything else. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you are... Uh, if you are watching this video and by the end of this video you still have some questions, please leave a commentary or, like I always invite you to, email me at logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com or uh, Facebook, find me Logic Language Learning on Facebook and then by all means uh, send me a, a note or a message or what have you um, on Facebook. So, what we are looking at today is the word got, okay? Now the reason got is so important for uh, linguists, is in English, got is everywhere. I mean, it is absolutely everywhere. I got arrested. Um, I have got a brother. Um, I got the bus. I got off the bus. I got on with um, somebody. Uh, I got the opportunity to do something. There are so many expressions where we use the word got in English. Now, the reason this is a problem is because when you're thinking quickly about what you want to say in French, at the moment you're going to be using your English to provide those sentences if you are beginner to um, intermediate, before becoming more advanced and just going straight into sentences um, in the French. And this process is organic, so there's some sentences you won't be using English with, you'll just be thinking it, and other sentences you still will. And that's normal. That's completely normal until the whole thing becomes uh, about French for you. So the reason this is a problem is I'm always asking you, I'm asking you to try and use got, sorry, to try and use English as you feel it and then try and go round a problem if you don't know how to translate it. And the problem is, is when we're thinking in English, we use got a heck of a lot, okay? We often use a more formal version, so I got to the station, I arrived at the station, you know, um, he's a fantastic person, I get along with him, but we need to go through all the different things we use in French instead of using got, okay, because this is really, really, really everyday stuff, okay, so in no particular order, let's crack on. So the first got is possession, I've got, which is just an alternative for saying I have. So, I've got a brother would just be j'ai un frère. Okay, we don't need to do anything with got. Okay, that's number one. Number two is to get something. So, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get something from the shop. And for this, we would just use a different verb. We would say chercher or acheter. So, I'm going to get a bottle of wine from the shop. Je vais chercher une bouteille de vin or je vais acheter une bouteille de vin, which is pretty logical and obvious. We're going round the word got, okay? Next, I uh, am going to, I, so I got to the station at four o'clock, or I get to the station at four o'clock every day, because this video could kind of include get as well as got, okay? And to get is just arrive. I get to the station, j'arrive à la gare. I got to the station, je suis arrivé à la gare. Okay, so that's obvious again, but we'd use arrivé. Next one, I get along with him, or I got along with him, is the verb um, s'entendre bien avec, to hear yourself well with. So, I get along with Luke, je m'entends bien avec Luke, he gets along with me, he gets along well with me, il s'entend bien avec moi. Okay? Um, Reflexive verbs, so we got on well, nous nous sommes bien entendus, or nous nous entendions bien, if we were going in the past. And if that's complicated, I recommend you watch the videos on the reflexive past. So basically, to get along with someone, s'entendre. So for you, if you just learn one phrase for I get along with, je m'entends bien avec. I hear myself well with, in other words. I get on well with, okay? Next get is, is the passive get, okay? Now, in English, we have two verbs. For the passive, we have to be and to get. So, I was arrested, I got arrested, okay? So, we have a few methods in French for this. The first method, as I've said before, is I got seen by somebody, I got whatever, is one saw me, is we turn the passive which means some, the person at the beginning of the sentence is being dealt with by somebody else's verb. So, I was seen, they're doing the seeing. 
You make it active. They saw me or one saw me. On ma vu, il m'en vu. So that's a nice way out of the, out of the passive. I was uh, heard is going to be one heard me. On ma entendu. But if it's something like I got arrested or I something happened to me, possibly, you know, um, and this will also be um, when you say you're going to get yourself arrested, meaning your behaviour is going to cause this. Stop, you're going to get yourself killed. For this, what we do in French is we are going to say you make yourself killed, you make yourself arrested. Now, this isn't too crazy. If I asked you to say Luke makes me practice, you are going to say Luke me, so the bits, Luke me makes to practice. Luke me fait pratiquer. Side note, Luke makes me happy, as we've talked about before, will be Luke me rend content. We would talk about the, um, we would talk about the, um, the, um, if it's an adjective, we'll use rendre. So Luke makes me, um, Luke makes it normal. Luke le rend normal, because normal is an adjective. Luke makes us dance, dance being a verb. Luke nous fait danser. So if I asked you to say, I got washed, you'd say, je me suis fait, sorry, je me suis lavé. I washed myself. If I asked you to say, I did myself, which sounds terrible, but I got myself, I, I did myself, I made myself, from the verb faire to make, je me suis fait, yeah? So I got arrested was, would be, I made myself arrested. Je me suis fait arrêté. He got killed, he made himself killed. Il s'est fait tuer. So we tend to use these two in either the past or the future. So you're going to get yourself killed is you're going to make yourself killed. Tu vas te faire tuer. Tu vas te faire arrêter. Arrête, tu vas te faire tuer. You're going to get yourself killed. So that's that got, okay? I got... Uh, a fine, I got a cold. If it's got in a ugh, negative way, if it's get something you don't want, it is the slang word chopper. Chopper. Oh merde, oh mince, j'ai chopé une amende, a fine, rhume, uh, the flu. Um, um, something you don't want. Yeah, I, I, I picked up something I don't want, okay? Um, I picked up his virus. Yeah, he's coughing all over me. J'ai chopé son virus. Okay, lovely. Um, excellent. So to pick up, to get something you don't want. Good. Next one. To get the opportunity to do something. So I got, I got, wow, I got to see the Queen. An example provided. I've done this lesson four times, five times this week with different students. I've just done it with David. A very, very, very capable linguist. And, he, and I asked him to come up with some get examples and he gave me... Um, uh, he gave me got in this context. So I got to see the Queen would be I had the opportunity to see the Queen or I have been able to. J'ai pu ou je pouvais or j'ai réussi à. I succeeded in. Oh wow, I can't believe it. I got to, I got to see her. You know, j'ai pu la voir. I have been able to see her. If my got were I ended up being. So I got quite lazy. I became, that would be I became, je suis devenu, the verb to become, devenir, okay? He got, he got worse, yeah? Would either be il est devenu and then the change in adjective or the verb to get worse or to get better is s'empirer or uh, s'améliorer. So he got worse would be il s'est empiré or il s'est amélioré, okay? His French got worse. Son français, oh, not with me, I hope. Son français s'est empiré. His French got better. So, yes, with me. Son français s'est amélioré. So to get better, to get worse, we've got the verb to improve or to, to, to worsen, basically. Um, I, um, what was the other one David gave me? My, um, I got, I got to neglect my homework. I grew to neglect my homework. I started to ne neglect my homework. Eventually, j'ai commencé à. Or we've got phrases like bit by bit. I, you know, I started to do this. We've got petit à petit. Yeah. So bit by bit, he got better. Petit à petit, il s'est amélioré. 
or he himself has improved. If you're not familiar with how to do the past in the reflexive, like I said earlier, very, 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 very commonly repeated theme on here, the reflexive pasts. Yeah, so je me suis, tu t'es, il s'est, nous nous sommes, vous vous êtes. You are using the person, the reflexive, then the auxiliary verb from to be, then whatever your word would be in the past. And I've got an itchy nose, I do apologise. Oh, um, I went horse riding yesterday, I'm probably still covered in all kinds of various bits of fur or something. So, um, sorry, I do apologise. So, next thing. I got um, uh, what can we do the other gets I got to the station I got along with David I so I'm going to the station to get David so David will be at the station I'm going to go and get him for this we'd often in English say I'm going to go and collect him but we are going to say I'm going to pick him up okay so we're going to say I'm going to je vais le chercher we would use chercher now Two additional verbs for when you collect something or somebody. The verb to bring, well, the verb to bring with an object is apporter. Okay, a double p o r t e r apporter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a bottle to work. Je vais apporter une bouteille. I'm gonna bring a person is amener. A m e n e r amener. Now this is an interesting verb because it becomes amen. In the in the core, we add the grave like love, lev, amene, amen. Both of these. So I'm bringing David. J'amène David. Both of these verbs can have a r placed at the beginning of them. So I'm bringing a bottle back. Oh, you're going to France? Could you bring me back some wine? Tu pourrais me rapporter du vin, or tu pourrais rapporter du vin pour moi, or to bring back somebody would be ramener. Okay. So, amener is to bring a person, ramener is to bring back a person, to re-bring. Because as you know, when we add R and an E, the R, to a word which already begins with a vowel, most of the time it just becomes an R. Yeah, so to call, appeler, to recall, rappeler, okay? As opposed to to do, faire, or to take, prendre, to redo or to retake, refaire, reprendre, okay? The verb to take somebody, incidentally, instead of amener is emmené, with an E and a double M. So I'm taking him to the airport, je l'emmène à l'aéroport, okay? Good. What are the gets have we got? Have we got, let me think, got, I got, uh, so if it's a, a, an object, so the castle got demolished, the castle was demolished, if we're talking about Objects, and I don't mean objects in the in the grammatical sense, like I speak with him, I mean a thing. So something that's not a person, you can use this like in English. So the castle got demolished, which is basically saying the castle was demolished. Le château était démoli, or was constructed, était construit, um, this kind of business. So let's run through them all. So to get to a place, arriver à, to get on with someone, s'entendre bien avec. To get in a negative way, shopper. I've got j'ai um, uh, to become as in a verb of change. Il est devenu. He got. Uh, so yes. So to get and then an adjective. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he he went red. He got. He got. He, he, we'll say he went red in English. Il est devenu rouge. Yeah. He 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 became red. But some verbs of transformation, like he got drunk or he got, um, uh, let me think, what else could we get? Um, um, he got, no. Some verbs of transformation have, have their own verb. Rather than he became this then the adjective has given us a verb. So for example, oh, he got, he got fat. He fattened, il a grossi. He got thin, il a minci. He got skinny, too much, il a maigri. Which is taken, which are taken from gros, feminine gros, mince, mince, maigre, maigre, fat, slim, skinny. So we've made a verb of the uh, adjective. Same way we do with other things. So white is blanc, feminine blanche, to whiten, to go white, blanchir, okay? So we will often do this with a verb, and we will we will make a verb of an adjective. Okay? Can I think of any more gots right now? 
please do let me know when you're watching this video if you can think of any other uses of